Are you thinking about separating or retiring from the military and don't know what to do when you get out? If so, this video is made just for you. Cue intro. Welcome back. I'm John Cruz. I'm originally from California and I've been serving in the United States Air Force for a total of eight and a half years and will be separating at my 10 year mark to transition into the Air Force Reserves where I plan to commission as an officer. In this video, I will help you prepare for your separation or retirement from the military and into the business world and teach you about the Duty Skill Bridge program and how it can benefit you on your transition out of the military. So you might be wondering, what is the Duty Skill Bridge program? How can it help me in my transition out of the military? and how do I apply for this program? I'm currently in the process of applying for the DoD Skillbridge program, and if I am approved, I would be allowed to go on a permissive TDY during the last six months of my enlistment. During the last six months of my enlistment, I would intern with a company of my choosing, and I would learn the essential skills needed to be successful in that industry. During this period of training, you would learn all of the essential skills needed, so that way you can be successful in your job, and it will also teach you what the job is actually like and you'll get a hands-on experience before you jump into the role when you separate from the military. The cool thing about this program too is that you'll still be getting a full paycheck from the military during your period of training and you'll still receive your full military benefits and tuition as well if you still want to continue going to school during this period. Another cool thing about the DoD Skillbridge program is that it would allow you to build the relationship needed with the employer that you'll be interning with and it would further solidify you getting that You're position high. after the internship program program is completed. Now this training program is not guaranteed for you to get the job, but by you working for, with them for free and putting in the work and giving them massive value, you're more than likely going to be hired for that position after you're done with that internship program. So that's what the DoD Skillbridge program is in a nutshell. You might be wondering now, how can it be beneficial to you as a service member? I think that this program is very beneficial because it takes out the stress that you would go through if you were to just separate from the military and apply for jobs within the last few months and hope you find something. With the SkillBridge program, you are guaranteed a internship with that company that you're choosing and it would allow you, like I said, to build the relationships needed and gain the skills needed while still receiving a paycheck. So you can remove all that stress of wondering where is my next paycheck gonna come in from? Am I gonna get this job? Where am I gonna work? Where is my family gonna be? It gives you that financial blanket during those six months of training to train in the job that you want to be in after you get out of the military while still getting a paycheck from the military and benefits. So your family and you are taken care of. This is why this program is very beneficial. I think that everyone should take advantage of it. For me, I'm taking advantage of this program because I want to jump into real estate and investing and being overseas for almost 10 years, I've never learned anything about real estate I've never been a real estate agent and there's a huge return on investment as a real estate agent especially as an entrepreneur and I want to use this program to gain those skills during these six months and go in confident when I transition to the reserve and I can use those skills to jump into the job on day one I'm already having those six months of training. So I think that the program really helps you build your confidence and understand the groundwork and the framework needed to be successful in that industry. As for me, like I said, I am gonna be going into real estate, so it's gonna be a challenge for me because I have zero real estate experience, but I know that I can achieve anything if you, as long as you put your mind through it. I am pretty stressed out going into a career that I have zero experience in, but in my opinion, we all started in the military with zero experience and it has forced you to grow. So I'm gonna apply the same logic and mindset to real estate and just continue to grind and put all my effort and focus into learning the trade and becoming a successful real estate agent and investor so that way I can be successful. So that is how the DoD Skillbridge program can be very beneficial to you as a service member. And now you might be wondering, how do I apply for this program and how can I take advantage of this before I separate or retire? So all you would have to do is go to the education center and tell them you want to join the Skillbridge program or apply for it. And they would give you all of the basic information needed to get started. In the packet that you're given, you'll be given the memorandum of understanding, you'll be given the vetting checklist, and you'll also be given the DoD Skillbridge website link. How it works is 
On the website, there's a list of companies that are already vetted and approved, so it's a lot easier to go through a company that's already on the list because it's much quicker. But it's also not that hard to get a company on the list if they're not already on there, like what I'm doing. But you would go on the website and vet through the list and see if there's any companies on there that you're interested in. And if there is, you would just reach out to them and then you would have the memorandum of, of understanding drafted up between you and the company. It's fairly simple, everything's all typed in already. All you have to do is put the company's name and it generates throughout the rest of the list and then they just sign that. So that's super simple. And the other form you have to fill out is the vetting checklist. What the vetting checklist is, it's a form that ensures that the company is going to provide the training that's needed for you to do the job. It also lists the exact dates that you would be going through the Skillbridge program and when the Skillbridge program would end. And it also provides a clear understanding for the employer or Skillbridge industry provider that will be training you. It gives them that clear understanding of what they are allowed to do during this program and it states specifically that you cannot be paid, you cannot receive any benefits, and you can receive no commissions because you are interning for free while still receiving a paycheck from the government. So yeah, those are the three things that you're gonna be given when you apply for the DoD Skillbridge program to your education center. You're gonna get the vetting checklist, the memorandum of understanding, and the website link for the employer to sign up on if they're not already on there. If there's already companies on there that you like, then you can just apply through that one online. It's super simple. So yeah, that is how you get the process started for the Skillbridge program. So I hope this video has really helped you out and it's taken some stress off of your shoulders. I know going through a, your separation or retirement from the military can be very stressful not knowing where your next paycheck is going to come in from. But this program will allow you to take advantage of that and give you a sense of security and also the skills needed. And it will put you ahead, in my opinion, from the other people that are already in that industry because it's going to give you those six months of of free training, essentially. So yeah, I hope this video has helped you out. Be sure to comment below if you have any further questions. And always be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can receive all of my updates when I have a new video. And thank you for watching this video. If you have any further questions, please let me know.